There is more to TV than what you see. I'm at Wembley here to find out what goes into an ITV sport production and the different roles involved in order to bring the sporting broadcast to life. In and around the TV compound, amongst a whole load of wires and trucks, are a host of skilled individuals who collectively come together to produce what you see on your screens at home. I am VT Coward on Football Team. I'm an apprentice, I joined in March. I am a producer. My role is analysis producer. I'm a graphics operator. I'm working here as an EBS operator. I look after some of the live programmes that we do, structuring the show, writing the script, talking to the presenter and guests just to make sure everyone's happy with the editorial side of things within the programme. I'm a senior script supervisor and I make up a script or a running order, then make sure it all adds up correctly and fits the right time of the programme. Today I'm actually doing ends with a cameraman, um, so basically what that means is I'm directing him, getting fan colour for our programme output, uh, filming the match as well. I'm here as an Eng cameraman. There's quite a few different camera roles on a broadcast like this. You have the guys that film the live match itself. You have the prez up in the studio. I'm a technical producer. I liaise between production and the facilities people and try and make everything work. Make sure the signal gets out, make sure the programme goes to air. Tonight I'm directing the match coverage. I have 25 cameramen on my talk back and a whole VT truck who fly in replays and a commentator. When a goal goes in, you see replays of the goal. I'm the one who chooses what replays you see. We're in charge of uh, recording and playing back all the bits of VT in the show. I basically assist the programme editor. They give me a yeah, running order earlier in the week and I will get together all of the archive that's needed to go into the show. Analysis producer, find moments in the match that show the highlights or key player movement. I'm the senior production manager. We look after budgets, we look after logistics. OK, and Hungary line up to buy. With this, we can do everything from naming players, adding the clock, uh, putting the team formations in. I am the uh, one of the statisticians, so I provide information to the commentator, the producer, the presenter, the pundit. The making of a television production has many different roles and career paths, much like the many different positions on a football pitch. As checks and preparations continue, the clock ticks down towards the start of the show. My role is studio floor manager. The floor manager role is making sure everybody is in the studio at the right time, uh, doing the right thing. I'm part of the scenery team, set construction. We travel around making sure the set goes in, it's looking good, and then I stand by on set while they're filming, just in case there's any alterations or repairs that need to happen. I am the prompt operator, also known as the auto cue operator, also known as the teleprompter operator, which means that I scroll the words for the presenter for when he's presenting a show. I'm a sound engineer in the studio. It's a communications role, really. The presenter needs to hear loads of people in his ear, in his earpiece, and they all need to hear each other at the same time as well. I am a makeup artist and hairstylist, so I make up all the talent, so then they're ready to go on camera, and also making sure that they're feeling good and looking and feeling their best. Do you have any advice for a young person who might want to get into the TV industry? It's amazing. It's amazing. The main thing is, is that you've got to do the work, do the research work, whatever it is, to get you to the next level. Then it's up to people to give you the opportunity. The key thing is, is to get out, get as much experience as possible, get involved in it at an early age and be out doing practical stuff. I mean, I remember starting at 14 years of age doing hospital radio is the best thing I ever did. My advice would be you can never know too much unless you're astonishingly lucky. You're going to have a few setbacks, but you've got to keep a smile on your face, work hard, do your prep, and most of all, enjoy it. If you love sport, um, which is the fundamental qualification, then if you have initiative, if you're willing to learn, you're halfway there, I think. Work essentially with your own tools on your laptop, make YouTube videos, develop your own content. If television is what you want to do, do as much work around it as you can. So be proactive with your spare time. Apply for jobs, look online for jobs. Even if you don't have the experience, get out there, ask questions as to what you need to get those roles. Just learn lots about telly and all the different aspects. And um, just be keen to learn, Yeah, be a bit of a knowledge sponge. If I were to give advice to anyone, it would be to watch a lot of sport programs, not just from an enjoyment point of view, but to really see what parts of those programs that really resonate with you. 
generally you would start as a runner just to see what you like to do if you want to work in production management or if you want to work in editorial and then take it from there. There's no better way than meeting people, connecting with people, speaking to people on LinkedIn. I think it's really important that you never lose that sense of excitement. I suppose wonder a little bit as well that this is what you're doing for a living, that you know someone's ringing you up in the morning going, do you want to go to Wembley tonight? I'll pay you to do it. So that there was a small flavour of some of the different roles in sports TV production. And wow, I can't believe how many different career paths there are. So now it's just time for me to sit back and enjoy the show. Good evening from Wembley. Roy Keane, Enia Luco and Ian Wright are alongside.